sharply to both the north and the south. Then the second um, we'll be looking at is the resistivity data. Now the top slice corresponds to the um, measured resistivity that was taken on the south side of Briar Creek Lake. The middle slice is was made um, in the program to fit this top slice. And the closer that your top and middle slices are, the better your data is. So you can see that these seem to be um, pretty close overall in their resistivities. So that means that this bottom slice, which is the inverse model, or actually a good model of the subsurface, it is fairly accurate. We can see here a relative magnetic low, which most likely corresponds to the broken and brecciated region of the Lake Street Fault. And um, we see a lateral um, resistivity, which is a variable as you move laterally across this area. 